what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel so today as you can see we have right here a status seat and uh, uh yeah i am speechless that i got it but anyways today i'm gonna be painting it and i've been looking up like how to do it like i guess the right way and a bunch of people just spray painting it so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that as well uh i don't know if you guys can see or not sorry my dad's working on the car over there right here i don't know if you guys could tell or not but basically it's like faded you can see it had like straps on it and it's faded so i'm gonna go ahead and paint this and i'm gonna paint this one right here and uh, yeah and also this too but i gotta get the masking tape mask the holes off i'm not gonna be spraying like right here i'm just gonna be spraying so this will be fine already got all the clips over there let's get to it So now, trade for paint. Alright, so my dad was telling me that after you paint it, you're supposed to like get the the I don't know too sure what it's called, like the fibers or whatever. Not the fibers. I don't know. Basically, you want to get it loosened because right now it's like hard and you can feel it if you do this. But he said usually you get a glove and just like go like that. But I got this brush and I'm just like going in circles. So I'm just going like this. Probably not a good idea to use this, but I'm just trying it for experiments. I just have to keep doing this. Like it feels getting a little bit softer. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this for the the whole thing, and then I'm gonna spray it again, and probably do it a second time. So let's get it. done with the C and it looks actually better than before went to a little light right here and right here but that's from my arm just rubbing and then it's a little light right here because I think this was the driver's side I believe it looks like because this side looks more wear but yeah looks super good these look super good too you could I can't even see the lines anymore this one looks way better now since that's black because that was like white grayish but let's uh let's see how how this did oh let's go look at that no overspray at all <laughs> let's go and i think i might do what i want to do which if i'm gonna do it i'll show you guys all right, so while the seat is outside drying and curing, we are going to build the seat bracket. And what I got is PCI, and I just went ahead and spent the little extra money and went with the slider because you know, my mom and my dad could drive it and whoever else. I'm not gonna show how to do it because I've done it before, me and my dad. If you go and look, we have a pretty good video of how to build this on one of the S1000 videos. But I'm gonna go ahead and just time lapse everything and get this all put together. So let's go.
All right, so I got the seat in, and these already came with brackets, as you guys can see. But I'm gonna just take these off and then just keep them, just in case I get a passenger side. But yeah, I'm gonna take these off and put those on, and then bolt the bracket to the rails, and we should be done. All right, so the camera died and I got it finished. I went to the hardware store. I got some better hardware for the sides and I used the spacers that they provided. And it's a little rough sliding right now, but my dad said when he got his together, his hard, so when he put it in the car, um, it was easier. But now we are going to put the final piece, the plaque, let's go. All right, let's put it on. better or at least closer to the seat all right guys so after an hour or so of freaking finessing with this even it even though it says you don't have to modify it we had to modify it well not really modify it we just had to drill this hole out more i don't know because it's just a seat or not but we had to drill it out a little bit so fit so we got all of them on and then the that piece right underneath uh, I don't know if I remember I showed you guys or not, but basically it goes right there and you have to drill a hole underneath so you don't use your stock um, your stock mounting point. So if we go under here, you can see it's right there in that plate. And me and my dad forgot to put on the washers, but it'll do for now. So, yeah, we got it all on and it's a little rough sliding like like the back but forward it's easy but yeah look how sick it looks though i'm excited to go on track days and all that especially the one that's coming up oh wait i haven't told you guys yet that will be yeah you guys see so right now i'm gonna have to clean all this up vacuum it too and get rex ready for tonight because i'm going to a car to coffee or car to coffee oh yeah to a car meet tonight <laughs> so yeah and then poor stock seat you've had a great time over how many 230,000 miles on you you done good you done good 
four seat. Well, anyways, oh, anybody wants it? A thousand bucks. I'm <laughs> playing. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys when I'm all done. All right, so I got Rex vacuum up and I haven't washed it yet, but I'm gonna just wipe it down for tonight. And yeah, so the seat's here. And as you can see, nice black with the white. But you know, the surprise I told you guys, I'm gonna be filling it in. So, I'm going to get to it. You know, my dad said not to. It's going to turn pink like the Integra. I still want it red. Sorry, dad. Die bar. Boom, there we go. Uh, it looks pink in the camera but it's red, I promise. I don't know if it says, but it's red. I like it. I mean, it's look, it looks a little pink-ish. I don't care. That looks sick. Just look at that. All right, well, I think that might be it for today's video.